Hi, my name is Daniel Madamba. I'm an R&D engineer here at Confluent Medical, and today we'll be talking about hydrogen testing. So typical nitinol processing involves exposure of the parts to uh, high hydrogen environments, such as during the etching or electropolishing processes. And typically these processes don't introduce too much hydrogen into the materials, but the potential detrimental effects of increased hydrogen concentration, uh, such as hydrogen embrittlement, uh, loss of ductility, cracks or fractures, those are of a large concern to us. So for that reason we do hydrogen testing in order to make sure that the introduction of hydrogen into the parts that we process is kept to a minimum. Uh, this is our LECO hydrogen tester. We use it to measure hydrogen concentration. And we do that in accordance with ASTM E1447. And we derive the acceptance criteria for testing from ASTM F2063, which is for rot nitinol. Uh, as of right now, there's no uh, formal acceptance criteria for finished nitinol parts. So hydrogen testing can be performed at a number of different stages in the product life cycle. Uh, this includes qualification of incoming material uh, for R&D work, uh, process development, or in support of failure analysis. And the test is pretty low cost and you can usually get results within the same day. Um, so that's a basic overview of hydrogen testing here at Confluent Medical.